All right. Uh, good morning. Good evening. Whatever you may be. Uh, my name is George. I'm mentor on the GATS program. Uh, I want to do a quick video um, to help out. Uh, I had two complaints. The first one was that, um, uh, like I stated in my previous video, uh, I'm not a um, full-time Windows user, so I find it. I found it a bit a bit difficult to encode uh, strings uh, in the terminal uh, as shown in uh, this video. Uh, Google Cloud Functions get it started. Okay, so I was able to resolve it. I'm going to show you how you can do it. Um, okay, so um, his code, like I said previously, uh, uh, code um, Cloud Functions, uh, at least for pops up uh, triggers and uh, events, doesn't use event and callback. What it uses now is message and um, context. Okay, so uh, I've already published uh, my pops uh, pops up uh, function or my cloud function called hello pops up, and this is what uh, it looks like. So here, basically, we will get an information. We'll be getting some text or some data from uh, the calling function passed in into this function, and um, of course, we will check and if. Uh, we have some data, then of course we will de decode it using base64 to string and um, append it uh, to hello. And of course, it should be a name. So it should be hello George, hello John, hello Emeka, whichever. Okay, so if uh, this is empty data, they need to return hello world. Okay, uh, so those are the two things I ex we expect to see. And of course, uh, these are the two lines, uh, my addition, to try to decipher the function and really understand how it works. Okay, all right, so first of all, what he did there was to actually encode string. So let's quickly do that. Um, my terminal, let that come up. Okay, give it a minute. System is it's stuck or something hmm. all right okay so as you can see in the terminal I already had that uh, line of code uh, command that does that okay all right so let me just clean the screen let me clear the screen so that uh, oh sorry that's not right giving me some trouble let me close this panel and open up the new one to get things fresh oh same one opens okay this time around we can clear the screen okay okay so that's the code to encode uh the string george into base 64 okay so this is how it's done on windows uh, you set environmental variables uh, in this fashion, uh, dollar sign, env, uh, colon, then the name of the environmental variables. And of course, after setting it, you can check to see if it actually was set by uh, echoing the value of that data to the terminal. So first of all, let's set this one. That's been set. Now, what we simply do to call to check, we simply type this. All right, sorry. Oh, sorry data all right so that's it it returns this so we copy this one okay that is the 64 uh, base 64 representation of uh, the word George so yours could be different so let's go to my console uh, we're here I had already tested out the function so I would go back to the event page and start all over again Okay, so this is the function we're testing. So I click on that one. Okay, and I click on testing. And of course, I need to enter my information here. Okay, so uh, the piece of information I'm sending here is, is has the name data. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let me 
that's a mistake. Go back here, put that there and that. Okay, so that's it. Now we scroll down and then we'll click on test function. Okay, so while we wait for that function to come through, we would expect to see something here if we actually had returned something. But in this case, we are not returning anything. We're simply printing to the console. So we will only see outputs in the logs and not here. But if we were to use the HTTP um, function, hello HTTP, of course, we'll get an output here because that function actually returns something. Let's, let's look at that function quickly. Wow, that is running. Okay, okay so that's it. Status send. This will be returned to the outputs and we will see uh, an output in that screen. But in the case of this other function, we are simply writing to the console. And so we don't expect to see anything here. Okay, so the function seems to have finished running. Okay, no new entries. And of course, it was okay. Now, what's the output? That's the output. Remember, we were expecting to get hello my name or whatever data I had encoded and used in testing so you see here hello george i obviously don't know why we have uh, something like select boxes between the letters but of course hello george is there and of course this is the id from my function here okay that's the one here all right so that's it. So this is George that was decoded. And of course, added to the other string, hello, and then presented to us as hello, George. So basically, that's what we expect to get. You don't, you will not see anything here unless you return a value. If you do return a value, then you will see it here. The uh, hello HTTP function does return something. So you definitely will see something here. But in the case of the pop sub uh, function, it doesn't return anything. Rather, it writes to the console. And of course, that will be passed to the logs and written here. So that's what that's how you go about uh, encoding text in the uh, PowerShell uh, terminal and then using that to test your function. So that's basically how it would be. And of course, um, another thing you need to take note of is that if you look at his, um, of course, his own function is slightly different. He had, a, uh, I believe he had message and uh, events and a callback here. But in our case, in a new way of things being, things being done, it is now message and context. So we take that message, it's the data that is uh, pass to this function and then we'll capture that data and of course present it uh, uh, write it to the console and then get the kind of result that we expect so basically that's how to go about following this tutorial to do the same thing uh, that um, he did when he tested out his function so thanks for watching of course leave your likes subscribe to my channel so that you can get subsequent updates for new videos that I'll be adding from time to time.